I may not have the largest dogs, but uh, I might have the strongest. This dog right here, canine blood. It's already been going for about a good 15 minutes, non-stop. I'm gonna just let him shake it out. Everybody's working on their grip. As you can see, Debo got a lot of growing to do still. He's almost 70 pounds. Normally when you see a dog with this many wrinkles, you know, it's like almost like the dog is only halfway grown. So, you know, I got Debo putting on at least 30 more pounds. Oh shit. Snow is the shake em up queen. She's been shaking these fools up. This is how we train around here. Just a little tug of war going. Everybody get a little good tug. Good early morning workout. So, you know, this bitch right here is a clean bitch. All my dogs are pretty clean. Athletic. Shake. They can rattle and roll. You don't hear nobody grunting. Just shaking. A whole lot of shake, shake. I can only imagine if this was a dog, that dog would be unconscious right now. Snow's just about 80. She's just only 80 pounds right now. She fluctuates. You know what? I feel like 80 pounds is a good weight. A lot of these dogs I see, 130, they can't walk, can't move. I don't understand. What's the point of being 100 plus if you can't walk, if you can't run or you can't walk? It's kind of like a fat stationary target. It's like me versus a 500 pound person that can't run and move. I want to just beat the brakes off of them. There ain't nothing they can do about it. Shake it. Shake everybody. Shake. Now I'm letting their jaws get a good, good workout. You know, this is a straight five minute non edited video. Trying to go for it. Look at it. Go. Hawk great granddaughter right here, y'all. Big ball of blood. 